to the crack. Today I'm super excited to bring you a crazy popping cooking set. We'll be making some DIY candy. The back of the bag has instructions and it lets us know that we'll need some water for this set so make sure you have some on hand. I can't wait to make these candies. Look at how cute this penguin is. Boop. All right, let's get started. Here's the yellow candy, red candy, blue candy, a stick, and a spoon. Here's the tray of molds. It's a little bit hard to see, but right here is that cute penguin we saw earlier. So the first thing we need to do is cut apart our containers and the measuring cup. This is the measuring cup. Oops, <laughs> come back here. In each of these bags, we'll need one scoop of water. I'll start with the blue bag first. This has a pretty strong berry scent to it. I think it's blueberry. We'll be mixing it right in the bag. I'll just keep mixing this until all the sugar is blue. That looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the next color, red. We'll be repeating the same steps as before. This red packet smells like strawberries. Now that it's all mixed up, let's move on to yellow. Oh wow, this yellow one has a really strong scent. It's definitely lemon. I smelled it immediately once I cut open the bag. Yay, our yellow one's done. The next thing we need to do is mix the colors to make even more colors. I'll put some yellow in the first container. And now I'll add some blue. Do you guys know what color this is gonna turn into? We just created green. Now I'll add some more yellow into the second container, followed by some pink. What color does pink and yellow make? Orange. Now in our last container, I'll put some pink and now some blue. Shout it out if you know what this is going to turn into. Purple. Now that we have all six colors, let's start filling the molds. So we have six molds. There's a whale, a pineapple, a shell, an island, and a penguin. Which one should we start with? Hmm, let's see. I think I'll do the whale first. I'll make my whale all blue. I'll just carefully fill the mold and then press it down so we get all of those nice details.
They gave us a stick so we can compact it. Alright, that looks pretty compacted. Let's move on to the pineapple. For the pineapple, I'll put some green on the top for the leaves and then yellow on the bottom. <laughs> Whoops, I'm making a little bit of a mess here. Sorry! I find it a little bit easier to press it down with your finger first and then use the stick after. Now that our pineapple is done, let's move on to the shell. I think I'll make my shell orange. Alright, we finished one side. Now let's do the other one. I'll start with the island. This one's gonna be a little bit tough since we'll be using multiple colors. I'll use yellow for the sand, orange for the coconuts, green for the palm leaves, and blue for the background. And last but not least, let's make the penguin. I'll use orange for its stomach and then purple for everything else. Sweet! All of our molds are filled! Time to see how they turned out. So to take them out, you just carefully push them out of the mold, but be really gentle because these are pretty fragile. Here comes the whale! Phew! It came out nicely! Now let's see if the pineapple will too. Ah! Oh, oh no! The top of the pineapple separated from the bottom. Hopefully we have better luck with this shell. Yay! That one came out great! Time for Mr. Penguin! This one's my favorite, so I hope it comes out perfectly. Phew! That one came out pretty easy. Let's hope we end on a good note. Here comes the island. Yes! Success! Here's all of our DIY candy. I think we did a pretty good job extracting them. Only one broke. Now for the taste test. Which one should I eat? Maybe the pineapple? Nah, I'll try the shell instead. Mmm! That's pretty tasty! It tastes like citrus, and it instantly melts in your mouth. Well, this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!